What's up, folks? This is Omar and Hosea. The real coming back back to another reminder. This was coming over to come across over with some old footage and revisiting uh, our own words. Yes, got to. Um, two types of light. Two types of spelling. Two types of worlds. But they're the same world. If that makes sense. Think about this. L I G H T. Living in good. Heavenly transition light or living in God's heavenly transition light. L Y G H T. Living Yah's heavenly good time. Living Yah's good heavenly time. L Y G H T. There's two parts, two in this. The L I G H T, living in God's heavenly time. Uh, that's the correct pronunciation. Living in God's heavenly time. Or living in godly heavenly time. Like the image. This light. Is a lesser light. It can see in the darkness. And it represents. The sun. That's in space. And that when the light from the sun. Reflects off the moon. It becomes a lesser light. And so this, this moon. Shines in the darkness. And so we can see in the darkness. Because the stars guide us. Thank you sun. And so that's the lesser light. L-I-G-H-T. And so we created flashlights, batteries, generators, fossil fuels, gases, all these things to create energy or create some type of light out of this darkness or this destruction or out of this chaos. And so thus everything that man makes seems chaotic. When he's without, uh, when he's out of his, when he doesn't know certain things, he becomes instantly chaotic. That's living in godly, heavenly time. L-I-G-H-T. And so, the dust or the shadow of that lesser light has its own world and its own entities and its own power so to speak like zero to nine ten to nineteen then you get twenty 20 to 29, you get 30. See how the language changed? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Then you go 100, 200, 300, 400, then a million. You know, so shades and light is like that because they can be measured. That's what they call the speed of light, density, and things like that. And so we can go on forever for the science of that. Many books, civilizations, done. 
But this one, L-Y-G-H-T, living Yah's heavenly time, is where that light is the pure, undistinguishable, comprehending all light and darkness time like universal time galactical time speed of light time uh, and we talk about millions of years of eons or ages forever never limitless you know, when you, when you speak that language, you know, it takes you to a higher nature. You see, because, see, when you use the pure energy or atom, right, the light of power, there's a dust that comes from it. And so that's what we've probably found out that in outer space, we come to find out that NASA and these people know that there's out of space, there's a lot of dust. And there's a lot of energy exploding, creating dust. And then when the energy and this dust get together, they create. And then that creates. And so like in the body, we have DNA strands of the universe, DNA strands of the humans. So you have that, that living Yah's heavenly time light. Then you have the living L I G H living in godly heavenly time light. You say when you put these two together, then you become balanced in knowledge of good and evil, light and dark, right and wrong, this and that. Because you know the light of self, but then you know the light then you know the light of all creation. Who created the self? And all that it comes to understand to be light within itself. Called consciousness. Consciousness explained. So now that I'm aware of these two and two indistinguishable lights by the hands of man, but are very extinguishable by the creator of them both. That was heavy. So light creates dust. And from ashes to ashes, dust to dust, so shall our light return back from which it came from. The L-I-G-H-T. And for some of you are born of the L-I-G-H-T, you have a choice to evolve into the L-Y-G-H-T. It's your choice. And those of you who were born with the L-Y-G-H-T, if you want to give up that light and go to the lesser light, you have that choice as well. Because the Creator sent many prophets and many messengers in many situations that confirm what we're sharing with you today. Mm. Ooh, excuse me. Nobody gets. <sighs> so, even the body rejects. So why shouldn't the mind and the soul reject the lies? Till next time, folks. Omar Hosea, the real, come back at you. Be good to each other. The time is coming. Peace.